so Jesus. Mm. I like him. Good topic. I think Love he's him. he's pretty great. <laughs> um, but specifically, even recently, not not recently, literally for hundreds and hundreds of years, uh, even the the deity of Jesus has been questioned. Mm-hmm. Which I think a lot of people in this house will be like, yeah, of course Jesus is God. But why is it important for us to even wrestle with the fact of Jesus is God? Why has that even been such a source of c- contention for centuries of saints while they have to, you know, meet about it and set in Christian theology that we believe Jesus is God? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the church has wrestled with this since Jesus was raised from yep. the dead. If you look back at the creeds, the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, even the Council of Trent, not to go in the weeds here, but this is something that the the deity of Jesus is is constantly questioned, and I believe it's questioned um, oftentimes from a place in our heart that really wants to understand who is this man Mm -hmm. that changed the world? Who is this man that literally defined history? Mm -hmm. Who is this man that said things, that did things, that that, that literally ha- have changed the, 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 what it means to be a human. Mm-hmm. And uh, for Jesus to, to only be God means he could not fully understand us. For Jesus to only be fully man just means he's another one of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He had to be fully God and fully man. And that's what the book of Hebrews <laughs> goes into great detail to teach us. And the life of Jesus teaches us the same exact thing. So if Jesus was just a man, then that was just a normal guy that hung up on the cross. The Romans crucified thousands of them. They crucified over a thousand at one time. Mm -hmm. Um, If if he was really God, but not man, then he's aloof. He's out there in heaven doing his thing, Mm -hmm. and he can't understand what it's like to have a cold, to lose a family member to COVID, to to be depressed, Mm. to go through a divorce. So here is, I'm telling you, the greatest idea that, that anyone's ever had um, is, I know that God doesn't have ideas like we have ideas, like we understand them, but how brilliant, how genius, how beautiful yeah. for God to say, I love you, human race. I love you, Meredith, Sam. I love you, Dan. I love you, High King. I love you, Clayton, so much that I am going to become one of yeah. you. I, I'm going to be there. I'm going to get my hands dirty. Mm. I'm going to get down there on the level at which you live so that for, if for all the other reasons, for one reason for me, I always know that Jesus knows how I feel. Mm-hmm. But he also has the power as God to do something about it. Right, right. Mm-hmm. yep. And that's even why it's important to understand both his humanity and his yes. deity. Yep. That God was, that Jesus was fully God mm-hmm. and fully man. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my favorite passages is from Hebrews where it says that, you know, Jesus can identify with all of our weaknesses. For everything we feel, he has has felt. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, I know all of us in this this circle are our pastors. Um, and we've talked about the Trinity and the, you know, the Father and the Holy Spirit, but the person of Jesus. Mm. We pray in the name of Jesus. What is it about, about Jesus? His uniqueness, because it is three in one, you know, distinct in person. Um, what is it about Jesus that, honestly, I just want you to talk about what is it about Jesus that you fall in love with that maybe even over the, the past year as we maybe have a little, had a little more time and space to, mm-hmm. um, to think on these things. Um, what do you love about Jesus? I would, I mean, I might cry on this one. <laughs> um, let it flow, baby. <laughs> that he surrendered his life. Mm-hmm. you know, gave up Philippians chapter two, you know, took on the form of a servant, like humbled himself to the point of death, even death on a cross, so that I could be reconciled, that we could be reconciled back to God into the delighting in the Trinity. I just, for me, uh, what I've been so just stirred with, really since salvation, I feel like there's this thing where we want to like leave the gospel sometimes. Like we yeah. like, and, and I'm all for like all theology and stuff, but like the, the reality, like the gospel is not a class you take. It's like the building you enter into to take oh, all classes. Oh, that's Lord. good. You know, and just <laughs> there's power in the blood of Jesus. Revelation 12, 11, we overcome by the blood of yeah. the lamb and the word of our testimony. You know, just this idea of uh, the lion 
and the, and lamb. the lamb. You know, the, this idea of the, the deity of God taking on human flesh because it took man to reconcile man. Mm -hmm. um, I just, just this idea, this, you know, and in, in his love and affection for the Father and, and Trinitarian, you know, the Trinity to be able to say, I want all of humanity to be able to experience this. Uh, the fact that we, that he is so good, he wants to share as we're co-heirs with Christ, you know, yes. like that this is a, um, I, I love the book of Colossians, just some of the language that it uses of, you know, he, he's preeminent, mm -hmm. the firstborn among all creation. And just this idea that, man, the more and more I look at how much the Father loves Jesus and that Jesus opened the door, that he, the same affection in which the Father loves the Son is the same way he loves me. Mm. Mm. And that my life is hidden in Christ Jesus. I mean, it's just like, I, I, again, we love you know, the theology of the Trinity, but the reality is Jesus is, is the doorway into yeah. that. I mm -hmm. mean, it is, and it's the place and the posture to stay in that. This is not my righteous acts. It's not my good works. It's the blood of Jesus. Yeah. It, is, it is believing in the finished work of the cross. Because um, like you were saying earlier, you know, that there's been lots of other people crucified, but God himself humbling himself, yeah. you know, to serve me. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. know, that he came that we could have life and life to the full. Mm -hmm. um, the joy set before him. <laughs> that man, he's like, man, I just want Hakeem to mm -hmm. be in his fellowship so much. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want him to be able to experience this. And so, because the, I'm going to experience insufferable amounts of pain. Yep. The, what I feel like is the forsaking of a father for a moment. Yep. So that we can have a lifetime of fulfillment with fellowship with mm -hmm. one another. I mean, yep. it's just, Jesus is not, he's the thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a, it's such a, uh, like a massive concept. Like even that question, like, like why do you love Jesus so much? <laughs> yeah. and it's, like, it's like sitting, you know, um, <laughs> sitting Krista next to me. Or, Tell me, why do you love Krista so much? Oh, uh, I, I, it's pretty. Um, awesome. To, to, to go back, it, the, 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 um, the identity of Jesus has been questioned yeah. since Jesus walked the earth. Yep. Um, and fa fa fairly, because, you know, he is a man claiming to be God before Abraham was, I am, and yeah. everyone's freaking out, and then how does one plus one plus one equal one? Like, like how does, so it, it's, 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 um, it's caused uh, contention and conversation, um, but uh, like Clayton said, it, it was a line that was drawn mm -hmm. in the sand that we all have to come to a point where we recognize um, who Jesus is, as the Bible speaks yep. about him, um, and, and there's an extension to that, who he is to us. Mm -hmm. And um, I, lo I love Jesus because um, you know, in the beginning there was the Word, and the mm. Word was with God, the Word was God, and then this Word becomes flesh, mm. and He makes His dwelling amongst us. He's like, Jesus the answer to that question that every human being has had. I wonder what it would be like if God walked with us. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We know. And now we know. Yeah. Mm. The full majesty of God, the full beauty of God, the full love of God, the full grace and the full mercy of God encapsulated in Jesus. Yeah. And um, side note, still experienced to us now through the Holy Spirit, yes. Jesus with us today. Yeah. Um, um, but um, I love Jesus because Jesus um, is the neon sign that points to the moment mm. that God responded to the hunger and the cry of every human heart. Yeah. You know, what is God like and how does God feel about people? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Jesus, Jesus embodies that. Yeah. Yeah. Thing for me too. I'm yeah. Sorry, bro. No, no, I'm amen. And, <laughs> and I, I, I love it. But I'm literally getting choked, choked up. I know we were talking before the, the set, just saying like, dude, don't cry. But um, I don't think I am. I hope not. But just essentially, I feel that Jesus just gets me. Yeah. Um, hmm. And I think just like reading through scripture, it's like every encounter that he had, he was just so loving and so caring. And I, I honestly, I can't get over that. Like I literally, I can't. Um, just knowing where I came from and where I am now, there's, there's no way outside of him. Mm. Um, it's not because I went to church every Sunday. It's not because I just read this every day and get so much knowledge that I go tell everyone about it. It's my personal relationship. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. And so it, it is also why it is so important for me to get fed every day because as I understand his personality, mm. it changes everything. Yeah. Um, because I'm also, one of my consistent prayers is, God, don't allow me to forget where I came from. Um, because before I met Jesus, of course, I, w I was 13 years old, but I didn't actually follow him until I became 21. 
And that's when everything changed Mm -hmm. because it was that personal relationship with him and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead me back to him on a consistent basis and trust his ways. Because of course, we talked about this earlier, he's the way, the truth, and the life. But to trust his ways rather than my flesh, because my flesh gets in the way a lot. But when I trust in his ways and go his route, everything, it it Mm. changes. So I don't know. I just... I just can't get over that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I love Jesus because he died for me. But I follow Jesus because he's raised from the dead. Mm-hmm. That's great. So that's, great. that's what the, the New Testament apostles mm-hmm. laid their lives down for. And Paul would even go so far as to say, if Christ is not risen from the dead, right. then our faith is in vain, yes. your yep. faith is in vain, and we are of all people yep. the most, most hopeless. So... I I love my birth mother. Never met her because she died before I found her, but I love her because she gave me up for adoption. Mm -hmm. And I respect and honor her memory, but I don't follow her because she's dead. I follow Jesus because he's not dead. Come on. Yes. And what separates him from every other religious leader is the resurrection from the dead. Mm -hmm. It means that he has power to affect my future. He has power to keep his promises. Mm -hmm. He has authority to do everything he says he was going to do. So I love him because he died for me, but I follow him because he's raised from the dead. It's great. I I feel like I could talk about Jesus for (laughs) a very long time. Um, For every reason that we have all already said, um, but ultimately, anyone who would sacrifice for you uh, and anyone who would, and I'll just say this as a single person, and maybe this hits y'all differently, um, but when a promise comes, I will never leave you or forsake you. Right, mm. yep. When, when you feel like no other person has committed that to you, mm. 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 There's, it just, it hits different. Yep. Mm. Um, and I'll tell you, one thing that continues, though, to convince me of the deity of Jesus is because you cannot find any other name as provoking <laughs> as the name of Jesus. Wow. Right. Yeah, you preach that. Either you say it in someone's presence, mm-hmm. and it is, <gasps> mm-hmm. oh, don't you just love Jesus? Especially with, like, old nanas, you yeah. know. <laughs> I just love Jesus. Yeah. Or you go to an environment and say the name Jesus. Don't. Not here. That's so good. Yep. Yeah. You you can say any other name, yep. mm. and it doesn't have that yeah. kind of provoking yes. influence. <laughs> Absolutely. It's because it's very specific, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Something yep. about you have that to name. Do something about it. Yeah. You know, have Jesus to. can't be ignored. We're, we're talking about the history that you really, you know, other faiths make room for Jesus. Yeah. Like, because you can't just say he didn't exist. I mean, yep. there's the historical record, there is the society. I mean, it is, it is the. You know, Lord Christ. <laughs> BC, AD, it is the, I mean, he has so influenced society that you, yep. you have to do something with him. Yep. yep. Have to. Yep. Yeah. And it's the name that's above every name. Every name. You know, I, the God of the Old Testament is sorry. revealed in Christ Jesus. Don't be sorry. Right. Revealed in Christ. You know, yeah. all the way in which God reveals himself, all the names of God, the different names of God. You know, Psalm chapter 9, verse 10 says that those who know your name put their trust in you, they will not be forsaken. Right. And I just think about like all the ways in which God revealed himself and the different names he gave in the Old Testament yep. are embodied in Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just, you, you cannot, you have to do something with the person of Jesus. Yeah. Yep. He said that about himself when he got up in front of the congregation, mm-hmm. hand me a scroll. <laughs> yep. Yep. Which scroll did he pick? Isaiah, Isaiah 61. Sure did. Mm-hmm. That. The Spirit of God has anointed me to bind up the brokenhearted, yes. to, you know, release the captives mm-hmm. that he was saying. Yeah. Today, the scripture is fulfilled, fulfilled in, your, in presence. your presence. And they wanted to stone him because of that. Yep. <laughs> and, yeah. I think people have uh, issue with the deity. Um, I also see equal, if not even more, issue with the humanity, humanity. of, of yep. Jesus. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and that's something we don't spend a lot of time thinking about. I, if, you, if you really think about it, um, uh, all of these councils throughout you know, the <laughs> early centuries really were fighting over the deity of Jesus. Yep. Um, um, if, if Jesus isn't God, like Brad used that illustration the other week, yep. he's either a liar or a lunatic. Yep. And my birth date is set by the birthday of a liar or a lunatic. Mm-hmm. Okay? 
uh, a liar or a lunatic split mm -hmm. time and space. Yeah. <laughs> Every Christian, Catholic, um, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu acknowledge this guy and he's a liar or a lunatic. Yeah. And that does not hold intellectual weight. Mm -hmm. you know? the, only, the only like kind of space you're left in is he must be who he said he was. Mm -hmm. He must be who he says he is. Mm -hmm. And that is before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. Ego in me, I, I am, I am, I am God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so I think we get that, but the humanity side, it, we don't explore that. Yeah. To think that Jesus had B.O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So to, to think that Jesus, you know, ate a bad falafel and got the runs. <laughs> to, to think that, because, but it's really important that you dive there. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Because until you have really embraced the humanity of Jesus, really you don't understand the depth of God's yeah. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because God's love is proven in how far he traveled yes. into humanity. Yep. You know, one of the biggest moments of forming that theology, I didn't know that's what was happening. You know, normally when your theology is formed, you don't know that's you're what's not, happening. Yeah, you're not aware of it. Yeah. But one moment that marked my theology when it comes to the humanity of Jesus was in Hebrews 5. And it says that Jesus learned obedience through what he suffered. I said, yep. learned obedience. That's <laughs> all. Jesus had to learn. Yeah obedience because I think I've read that before and I think oh yeah on the cross you don't get to that moment of obedience exactly. yep. without learning mm -hmm. progressive obedience yep. your entire yep. your entire human life and I think of even the fact that knowing he was mm. sent from the father mm -hmm. for 30 years there's no record of a miracle does that mean he didn't have access to that? No. That means because the Bible also says at just the right time, That's right. That's Jesus right. died. So there had to be, oh, there had to be walking down the Galilean streets. Right. Father now, no son. Yep. Yep. Father now, no son. Yep. Father, no son. And I can't, there had to be this bittersweet moment. That gets me right there. You right? talk about that. That there had to be this bittersweet moment when with the father he says, Father now, and the father says, Yes. Mm. This excitement and all the also this <gasps> now my walk to the cross really begins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I can display the kingdom, but that's the beginning of the end mm. for me. That humanity yes. side. Learning obedience. And, and, and it's and it's so it's so uh, confusing, even illogical. Right. So how do you have someone on one hand who can turn water to wine, <laughs> at the same time got really, really tired? Mm -hmm. needed, how, a how, you know, needed a nap. Needed a nap. How do you have on one side, uh, you know, someone who, whose hands literally flung stars into space because he is the firstborn of all creation, yes. through whom everything was made. Everything. But at the same time, he found himself, I can't even carry this cup anymore, Dad. Like, yeah. could you take it away? Like, uh, this mm. is just this... And, and again, it's so important that we are brave enough to delve into the humanity of Jesus yes. and, um, and how it all basically plays out. How, can, how, how did Jesus being fully God have aspects of the Father's plan he didn't under... Yeah, right. yeah. Like how does that all play out? That's one of the mysteries that yeah. I'm so grateful for. Yeah. But what isn't a mystery is that when the Bible says we don't have a great high priest that can't sympathize with our weakness. Yes. This is what, see, we, we don't think Jesus gets us sometimes because when we're tired, we think, well, Jesus had superpowers. Right. So he never, <laughs> no, no, no. Like it was when a you are exhausted at the end yes. of a double shift, yeah. Yeah. and you've come home and you go, I don't know if I can do tomorrow. Right. To actually think that Jesus, Jesus had times where he wanted to run away and just go hang out with his friends, yeah. and then 5,000 yes. people right. showed up looking for I need a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But that was the humanity of yes. Jesus. Great. He gets it. And he did it without sin. Yes. Yeah. Without sin. <laughs> <and, and, and, laughs> how? No, he had to, and that's what's exciting. He went yes. along with the Father. Yeah. That's what, okay, I tell you now. I tell you now. A, a pretty first century girl walked past Jesus wearing not too much. And, and Jesus so had to happened. work out how to mm. end yeah. his humanity. Mm -hmm. wow. Never sinned. Not sin. Yep. Yep. That, that helps a man who's like going, well, I'm just a what? No, 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 no. It's he. Yep. Loneliness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All so can you imagine how lonely it would have been going, <laughs> talk about not, people not <laughs> getting me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not being understood. You know what I'm Hello? saying? Like, it, but, but he went through it yep. mm -hmm. so that we could know 
no matter yes. what we felt in our humanity, Jesus That's going, so good, man. I didn't have to, <sighs> yep. but I did the journey yep. to get into that space to go, you're not alone, sweetheart. Yeah. I don't know what it's like. And of all the religions in the world, if I lived a thousand lifetimes, and I won't because I'm a Christian and I don't believe in reincarnation. <laughs> I, Next I, video, reincarnation. <laughs> I would pick Jesus every time because that is what differentiates our faith from every other faith and worldview is that our God is touchable, approachable, yeah. and tangible. Yes. Yeah. Not, a, not an outer space came God. Came for us. Came here for us. Yeah. And what's, you know, I think there's something that, for me, we're talking about the humanity and divinity, but also what has been really provoking me lately. Um, I, you know, I think one of the most beautiful things is that Jesus brings humility into your life. Mm -hmm. Because man, I, you know, there's something deep within the, all human humanity <laughs> wants religion to work. Right. I can earn my way to God. And Jesus just eradicates mm -hmm. it. That I am able to approach him, not because I'm a pastor, not because I do good things or I read the Bible or whatever, no, is only through the finished work of the cross. But also, if you think about this, Jesus' full earthly ministry stopped, but he's still engaged in full-time ministry now. Right. Yeah. right. He is seated in heaven, full glorified you Jesus, <laughs> interceding on our behalf. That's right. He's in full-time ministry. <laughs> and if you ever get to this spot where you sit there and start thinking, man, what is Jesus praying for me for right now? Mm -hmm. mm. And it's, it's shifted prayer for me. Man. That he is sitting right now next to the Father, <laughs> interceding on our behalf. Days, it is, it mm. has changed everything about understanding that, Beautiful. wait, prayer is not for, this is Jesus in his glorified state in heaven is sitting here praying for us. Come on, oh. Sam. That, huh. that thought has really been provoking me lately about, well, why, <laughs> why, am, I not placing, why am I not placing Dude, that value on that, prayer in my life? If yeah, Jesus yeah. is engaged in this, you know, he's not, he's not sitting on the throne eating Doritos and, you know, Just and the lazy boy watching so, Tom Brady win Super so Bowls. you're telling me yeah, that, yeah. that he who is fully God, who fully understands man, is bugging Abba, <laughs> yep, right. Dad. Dad in heaven, about the very things that we need in life. Yep. See love, that is. Yeah, behold beautiful. what manner of love. Mm. Wow. Good work. Amen.